Okay, so at this step, we're going to start learning how to find the assets that we need. Uh, we are going to go find the assets ahead of time, even though we haven't come up with our story yet, because the assets we'll, we find will kind of help define how we're going to develop the story. Now, in a normal movie, they, they would have a script with an idea and with the characters all laid out, and they would create those characters. Artists would come in and do that. But in our case, uh, we want to just use what's available because, uh, you know, they're free and we can adapt them and that's uh, fine for our classroom purposes. So we're going to go to Unreal Engine. So in the Epic Game Launcher, which you do need to uh, be logged in using your, your account. So you can see I'm logged in right now. Uh, and now what we're going to do is go to the marketplace. So we're looking under free assets, but there's two major packs that we're going to look at. So I'm going to just, the first one is Infinity Blade and fin, fin, Infinity blade I misspelled infinity yes two seconds there infinity blade so these are all free and as you can see I already own them all uh, in your case you may not own them all so uh, the one I wanted to add is called the castle I believe uh, where is it or is there there's the hideout here and or the castle so you, the thing is you could pick what I'm asking you to do is pick only two and I don't want you to use character packs. Okay, so see here there's warriors and adversaries. I'd rather you not use these because they're very high res. And you could use them, but uh, we're going to teach you how to use Mixamo characters. And to keep everybody on the same page, we'll use the same thing. But you can use the environment pack. So here's a nice uh, kind of Japanese uh, looking, uh, you know, temple. So you could use that. Uh, I'm going to be probably either using the hideout or the castle. And I'll show you how to add those. Another series of uh, free assets is, uh, and you see it says free. If there's a, if it says it costs money, obviously don't use those. Uh, it's Edith Finch, okay? So E-D-I-T-H, Finch, and just press search. And I don't think I own all of these. Well, I do actually. Uh, and these are also really cool assets. So here we have a room. We have a house grounds. We have a beach wedding. We have another room. And what we're going to do is add two of these to our project. So we previously created uh, our previs project. And so we're just going to add uh, two of these scenes to our previs uh, projects. So what you will do is you'll go in your library once you purchase them. Okay, so how do you purchase something? I'll just show you just quickly. I wasn't able to buy those because I already own them. Um, so let's just go to free. Let's just go to permanently free. Uh, they're actually in these in this section. Let's just see something I don't own. Uh, easy quest. Do I own that? So I'll say add to cart. And because it's free, all I have to do is click on it and check out. And that's it. And then, then it'll be added to my library. Okay. Let me just click on that. I'll click check out and easy quest. Okay. Now I will own it. See now I, it says own. So pick two assets. You can actually add th three or four to your library if you want. It doesn't uh, take up any room on the computer uh, and then you scroll all the way down as you can see I have a lot more projects but that's fine so I'm gonna go and I'll write infinity the blade so I want to use the castle let's pretend okay so I'm gonna add that which project do I want to add it to well I created a new project called previs uh, with my name so that's what you want to do um, so this one here so I'll add it to project so this takes about a minute and I said to add two. So why don't I go get one of the Edith Finch ones and we're only going to use one of these in our final uh, production uh, like this beach wedding. So maybe you already have a, a story idea or if your story idea changes and you want to come back, it's very easy to uh, to to go and re add a new one and delete the old one. I can show you how to delete it after that's uh, very easy. You just so I'm going to add it to the project. And again, this will take a couple minutes. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video. And once I unpause the video, I'll go to my Unreal Engine project and show you where they are. Uh, well, in fact, maybe they're already there. So there you go. I'm in my Unreal Engine project. So the one that's called Previs, the names at the top here is kind of cut off by my video recorder. But just make sure you're in the right project. And originally, all that there was in here was this. I'm just going to give it a color here. 
So that was the only thing that was in my project. And I just added these two packs. So these two things have just been added. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do now is open up the packs. So I have two. I have this environment pack and this Edith Finch pack. And uh, you could go and look for them in here uh, under maps. So that works uh, fairly well here. I have, uh, uh, you know, opened the, the terrain uh, demo, I believe. And one of the things I'm going to say is there's always one where all the assets are laid out. But what you're trying to do is just quickly look at, okay, what does this look like? So I'm going to just scroll forward with my mouse. So I could film something where I place my characters here. So really what you're looking for is, okay, here's kind of a place that I could use. And one of the things you're going to notice here, when you open it, it compiles shaders. So you can wait for that to be finished. But if you open it and you're like, you know what, this is the wrong one. Because look, there's four of them and you might... So some of them are the wrong one. The terrain demo one is probably, um, well, it's the one you're looking at. And what I'm going to tell you, to you want to use the ones that are pre-built. Because you don't want your students to spend a lot of time building these. We just don't have time. This is a massive assignment already where they have to come up with a story and learn sequence and, and animation. So they want a pre-built scene. So maybe there's like, an, you know, I'm going to just click another one and you'll see the other one open. So it'll take a minute or two to, for this one to stop. And so what you can do is have, and this part is slow and takes some patience. Okay, so that one was actually pretty quick. So there's a nice interior room that you could use. So you could tell. And so what the students should do is decide, all right, I think it's this one. Now they can change their mind later. And I'm going to go to the Edith Finch one and I'm looking for maps. And again, the demo map, I can't, let's just open it. One of them often is not the right one. And each pack, there's like one that has everything laid out like this room or that castle. Then there's one where all the assets are like not placed. Well, we want the one where all the assets are placed. So we're going to just wait a second for this to open. So it was taking a little longer to open. So one of the things that really you may want to recommend your students is look in the assets. So you just basically... Uh, click on the link and open it. So wherever you have it in your library, I just click on the link and it'll open. And then most of these either have videos or they definitely have photos and you can see. Oh, so without opening it, you can see what it looks like. You're like, okay, well, maybe that's where I want to fill my seat. All right. So the goal of this uh, step is to find uh, an environment that you could use and we want something that's already ready built. We don't want to do any work on it. Okay. Uh, you know, just plug and play and uh, we can focus on our story. So the, the purpose is to look and say, okay, well, maybe I am doing it in this, in this wedding scene and I already know what kind of story I could tell uh, from there. Okay. So if, hopefully that's helpful and thank you very much.